Okay, now that we've got all of our data, we're going to put it into some interesting graphs. So unfortunately, it's a little bit tricky to get this graph, so I'm going to walk you through it. What you want to do is go to your data, and now I'm going to click on cell A2, and I'm going to just click and drag down here, all the way in my case, it's going to be cell M. M366. Okay? If you're not doing this in 2012, it may be different. Okay, once I have selected cells A2 through M366, I'm going to go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, go to the Line button, click Line, and then choose the very first option. I like that. Now, you should see this chart pop up, and the first thing I want to do is I want to click on it and move it to its own sheet. I'm going to call this something like Daily Temps Chart. Okay, so we're getting close. It's, it looks kind of cool. We're not quite there yet. Every one of these lines is a different year, and this is the temperature for this time of year. So, 8-1, August 1st is when it's kind of towards the hottest, right? Sometime in August, it seems to be the hottest in August, and the coolest, I don't know, in February maybe? It's kind of hard to tell. So the first thing we notice is that our years are not labeled properly, right? The lines, each line represents a year, but our legend doesn't label them right. So what I want to do is I want to go to the Design tab on the ribbon, to the Select Data, and I'm going to choose Series 1, Edit, and write in 2001. Okay. And I'm going to choose Series 2, Edit, 2002. And you're going to want to walk through this, changing each one of these to the appropriate year. Okay, once I've named all, all of these series after the, after the years, I'm going to say OK. And notice on our chart, now there's the corresponding legend. It's not very easy to understand because there's so many different lines here. We can't really keep track of what's going on. But for example, you can see that right here this orange line seems to, this dark orange line seems to have been the hottest year, like hottest temperature ever. And that dark orange line is 2006. Okay, that's, I don't know, we can, we can learn some things about it. It was clearly this purple line at the bottom, um, seems to have the lowest temperatures. That was 2010, so we can, we can still see some of it. Now what we want to do is we want to um, edit our uh, labels, so I'm going to give this a chart title. I'll name it something like daily. I'm going to add some axis titles. There we go. But this is a little bit hard to see because we're starting at zero degrees on our axis here, and that doesn't isn't very useful. It'd be more useful if we could zoom in and only look between, say, 50 degrees and 80 degrees, because all the temperatures fall between that range anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor over one of these numbers, not over in between the numbers. It has to be over one of the numbers. Right click and say Format Axis. And then I can come in here and say I want the minimum to be fixed at 50 and the maximum to be fixed at 80 close. There we go. And we're going to see a lot more, it's going to be a lot, look a lot more interesting like this.